Hey guys! So it's been a while since I uploaded a video, and as you know, I was going to upload a conventions video, but I just got back from the convention a few hours ago, so I'm going to talk about this convention, and then I'll do an overall convention video in a couple of videos later about all the conventions I've gone to. But this weekend, I went to MetroCon 2012 in Tampa, Florida, and it was amazing. I this is my third year going. I went 2010, 2011, and obviously 2012, and um, it was amazing. I got to see my best friends. I got to see Robert from Seven Otaku's, and it was. I got to meet a lot of famous people, but I'll get into that. So, um, first off, uh, it was my birthday on Friday. I completely blanked. Uh, so yeah, Friday was my birthday, the 15th. And I turned 19, in case you didn't know. I'm an old fogey, but no. Um, yeah, so it was my birthday, but I wasn't feeling well, unfortunately. I didn't sleep that well, and I just was not feeling well, so I didn't get to go to a lot of the things I planned for that day. Um, like, this wristband I have on was for the Masquerade Ball, and I didn't get to go to it. Um, I'm, I'm wearing it because I had planned on going to it, but I just wasn't feeling well. So, um, what I did Friday was... What did I do? I went there and I met up with Robert and I didn't know, okay, I'm just gonna be ahead of myself. So I had originally planned on going there at like 10 o'clock in the morning just to walk around and go to the daily room and everything with my friends. But um, is my fan too loud? I feel like my fan is really loud. Ugh. Okay. You got to see my butt. Anyway. <laughs> so I really planned to go there really early in the morning, but I ended up sleeping until like 1 something and I didn't get there until like 2.30, but it was so worth skipping at, like everything I had planned on doing that morning because as you know, well, you would have on my other channel, um, I love Scott McNeil, not because of his acting, but because of his personality. And um, I had met him back in 2010, uh, the first year I went there, I accidentally ran into him and he was the sweetest guy ever. Um, and so, last year he was there, but I didn't get to meet him, or see him, and I didn't get a photograph with him the first time I met him, so I was like, oh my god, my goal is to get a photograph with Scott McNeil, and as I'm walking up to the convention center with my grandma, who was outside? Scott McNeil. I got two hugs, he's the best hugger, by the way, a happy birthday, because I met, I, it was my birthday, and a picture with him, and I'll put a put I'll put all the pictures that I took, um, that are cool in the description below on my DeviantArt. But, um, yeah, it was amazing. It was so worth not feeling well the entire day. And then after that, I hung out with Robert and gave him his birthday present, because his birthday was last Tuesday. And, um, then I was gonna go back to the convention center, but I didn't. And I ended up going to the late night panel at 9 with my friends. And so after that, I just came home and went to bed. And the panel was for Parley Productions announcing their new show, uh, I won't say what it is, in case you don't. If you don't know who Parley Productions is, just type in Parley Productions on YouTube and get to meet them, because they are the most amazing people. Anyway, on Saturday, that was uh, the best day, in my opinion. Um, I have my little, my little booklet, kind of stealing from Robert's thing. Um, but on Saturday, what did I do? I got up, and uh, what did I do on Saturday? Yeah, I got up, and I went there at, like, um, I think, like, 11 or so in order to get in line for a panel at noon. Did we go to the No. Yeah. I slept in a little bit, and my friend was late to put his makeup on, so I woke up late. He got there late, and so we ended up just skipping the panel that my friends were at. So, from, like, 11 to, like, 1 or something... We walked around, and then we met up with my friends eventually, and um, then we just walked around for a little bit, and then at 1.40, I went and got in line for Crispin Freeman. I love Crispin Freeman. Every single thing I've seen him in has been astounding. Maybe the anime wasn't the best, but his voice work, he is my perfect voice actor. Robert asked me at Megacon, who is my perfect voice actor? And I said Crispin Freeman. So, anyway, uh, so I did get Crispin Freeman's autograph, and I will show you that in the hall. Well, I guess I'll show you. 
I'll show you later once I'm done with the video because I'm probably already really close to the limit. I tend to talk a lot. But uh, after that, um, we left the convention center, I believe. I think so. Also, that morning, Robert had given me his presents for me, but I'll do that in another haul because I bought a lot of stuff at the convention center, and I'm not as quick as Robert in talking, um, because I ramble. Anyway, um, yeah, after that, we just left. I went home and, like, ate food or whatever and took a nap because I was exhausted, and, um... I got up and went to the Supernatural panel at 10 o'clock on Saturday, and it wasn't the best panel because they're an up-and-coming group, and it was their first time debuting Supernatural, and it was kind of mediocre. You know, they showed an episode of the anime, which, don't watch the Supernatural anime, it is horrific. Uh, but their cast yell was absolutely amazing. Um, I got a hug from her, and she gives the best hugs, and then they had um, a dean in the audience who was freaking hilarious. I got a big old hug from her. And funny story, I had just spoken to my grandma on the phone, and on my phone, if you tap a certain button, it calls whoever's button you press, so you can just like auto-dial them. And I accidentally called my mom while I was hugging her, so all she hears is heavy breathing, and the phone rubbed me up against something, so she thought I was being kidnapped. I scared the heck out of her. It was absolutely hilarious. But this girl was throwing me around. Anyway, so that's basically all I did on uh, Saturday. Then today, on Sunday, I met up with Robert again and all my friends and we went to the chess match. And it wasn't that good, honestly. Um, there were some funny moments. There were really funny moments. But um, last year's was absolutely a bajillion times better. Because this year, I didn't know any of the people. I knew like a handful of people. So I didn't like know their personalities or their power types or anything like that. Um, the only cool thing that happened was Gordon Freeman from Half-Life and um, Grey Wolf, I think his name is. I'm not even sure. Um, but it was really cool because he kept disappearing off the stage and Gordon Freeman kept reacting to something hitting him but you couldn't see him and then the lights would flash and he would come back. And it was, it was a really cool fight. And like I said, there were some funny redeeming moments but it wasn't anything compared to last year because last year was really comedic and really just like I don't know whatever and after that um all my friends left one of them had to catch a flight one of them had to go home and have dinner with their fathers or and um Robert had to go meet his parents so I was alone for like two hours but um yeah that was pretty much my day and then I came home and yeah this con was oh I forgot to mention that Crispin Freeman gave me a hug and said happy birthday to me. So, yay. Um, I love when famous people say happy birthday to me. Anyway, uh, I don't think I missed out on anything. Uh, Robert, it was amazing spending more time with you. Uh, Megacon was not enough, and spending three days with you was fantastic, and I cannot wait to see you at ShadowCon in November and spend even more time with you. Um, so, yes. Um, I think that's it. I will do the haul video next and upload it after this or maybe tomorrow because this will probably take a long time to upload. And yeah. Oh, by the way, my badge. And then Robert showed him. Showed him. Showed it. Uh, it was Angels vs. Outlaws. And last year's badge was. I'm gonna stand up again. Oh god. Oh, it almost fell. Did you see this? Everything full. This video is embarrassing. Uh, this was last year's badge. It's a lot. It, it's a lot cooler. I really liked it. It was Monsters vs. Hunters. But uh, this was this year's badge. I got a lanyard this year. Am I even playing? No, I'm not. So yeah, I look like a complete idiot in this video, but I love me. So I will see you guys in the haul video that I will do right now, and uh, tell me if you went to MetroCon. If you did. That's awesome. If you didn't, you should one year. If you can. That's all I can say. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys next video, which is right now. Bye guys.